Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm the reason for the season, Cooper. And we're with Long Branch Co. And today we're going to show you how we wrap some presents. Simple enough. So the holiday season is officially here. And if you haven't started already, it's time to shop for Christmas. It's about to go bananas. I mean, with Black Friday and all, jeebus. I know Black Friday was literally last weekend, but you know what? The shopping is hopefully done. Everyone's hopefully gotten everything they need for the holidays. And so now it's time to wrap the gifts. Yeah, we need to get everything ready mm -hmm. because from now on, I think this period between Thanksgiving and Christmas just goes flying. Oh yeah, definitely. What are we wrapping today, Koopa? Uh, well, see, Danny, today <laughs> we are going to wrap some of our Bridgewater candles that we sell. If you have not smelled this, I mean, if you walk through our house, this is what it smells like. Yeah. It's just fantastic. If you want any, just feel free to DM Long Branch Co. And we can fulfill your order for you. Yeah. We put these in all the stage houses we do. We put these in all the houses we design. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's just like a nice, it's a nice even scent. You know, I feel like it's a strong candle without being like too overpowered. Absolutely. Yeah, and they last forever. Oh, I know. This is specific one. Last, let's see, 90 hours. No, for this size, yeah, that's great. So today we're gonna wrap up a couple of these puppies and put them under the tree. So let's start by using our boxes. Sure. So why don't we wrap this two different ways? Why don't you wrap one in a box and I'll wrap one without a box? Well, let's see, I like that idea. Let's start. Can I have some tissue paper, please? You most certainly may. Here we go, there's some fun plain white tissue paper. Thank you. So what is your favorite part about Christmas? I guess if I really have to choose my favorite, I have several. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite parts of Christmas is the family gathering. Mm -hmm. But you know, I don't want the drama of the family. <laughs> I like the fun family parts, you yeah. know, like when we have Christmas with your family, it's just so fun because we have the white elephant and everybody comes to in a crazy way mm -hmm. and it's just so fun. I will say my second part of the holidays, it's got to be grabbing a latte with just a little bit of cinnamon on the top because it tastes like Christmas for some reason and reading a nice book in the cold weather outside, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I love that. That's sweet. Mm -hmm. I have to say one of my favorite parts about Christmas is giving gifts. You know, like I, receiving gifts, I'm, I'm weird about getting gifts. Like, I, I don't know how to react. I don't know how to act, but I like to give gifts. I like to think of the ideas of what to give people. But no, I agree with you. Giving gifts, is there's some magic about giving that it's, it's giving. <laughs> Don't you just love the feeling of like a nice pair of scissors just like sliding through It's gift like wrap. so satisfying. I know, just like, and the noise that... I know. Oh, no, no, it caught. Oh, no. You got it, you got it. You make it. Oh, no, it caught. Oh, no, it caught. It caught again. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know what? It's, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Right now I'm stuffing the box so that the candle doesn't move because the box is bigger. Mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of stuffing around so it's in place and nice. Yeah, I think that's fun. So here's a little fun hack for wrapping gifts. If you're doing like gifts that involve wrapping paper, I suggest getting double-sided tape because it just makes the gift look cleaner. Absolutely. Yeah, like you can kind of hide the tape a little bit, especially with like solid colored wrapping paper. You can see that tape and it sticks out like a sore thumb. So it's really nice just to be able to like not worry about having to see this and it just makes the gift look nicer, a little more luxe. So I'm just gonna, I fold this little corner. I'm just placing this bad boy here with some double-sided tape. Now I'm just gonna roll her. Let's give her a little roll. So what I'm doing here, I'm just wrapping the candle by itself, you know, but what I've done is, is I've made this tube shape and then I've gone through and I've kind of cut these little strips going up to the base of the candle. And so that way I can kind of just fold each individual strip and it'll kind of hug the base of the candle. 
So the base is all done and figured out. Looks kind of nice, looks kind of even, but it's the bottom. So realistically at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter necessarily. I'm gonna cut my paper. Like Cooper said, this double side tape is so much easier. So much better. You don't see all the ugly. You didn't see that. <laughs> so my candle is pretty much wrapped now. It's wrapped really tightly. You have that kind of folded over shape on the top and the bottom. So now she's pretty much all done for this portion, but she still needs to have some ribbon and some more decorative elements. I'm not the best about folding edges, as you can tell. But you know what? It's just for the fun. Like I said, it's gonna end up in the trash anyway. So we'll make it look pretty. And there you go, see? Perfect. We're gonna do the same with the other side. Okay, that's Wonderful. good. We're both at the same. I wrapped my box, you wrapped your circle. <laughs> Thanks, that's so sweet of you. You wrapped your circle. <laughs> You can be a little more nice to it. This is for the girlies that don't have a box laying around, you know? Like you gotta get the gift real quick for teacher appreciation day or whatever. <laughs> okay, that, I'll, I'll give you that. So next after this is ribbon. Ribbon. So I like personally the wire edge. Yeah. This is not my brand of ribbon that I like normally, mm -hmm. but hey, let's buy one good three free at the store. So that's okay. Yeah. And I think it's pretty, you know, I think it's, I think it's fun. You know, you can go with this one. You can go, you can get away with using this other one. You can use any ribbon you want. You can mix them. Well, I mean, not this one because it's the same length, but that's cool. Like, that's what I'm saying. I like this paper yeah. because it can go well with any of these ribbons. Yeah, because it's simple enough where you can put a simple ribbon, like a plain flat colored ribbon, or you can put something a little more like ornate and it'll still pop against this. So I like that. Like, there you go. Yeah, so those are like the thicker the options. The thicker options. And then we have some thinner options that you could see how elegant that looks right there. Yeah, that really it's really nice, it makes it pop. So do um, you wanna pick one style and I can pick another? Sure, what's your, I'll let you pick first. What's your favorite? So what have you I'm personally leaning towards this green moment. Okay, I yeah. like that. I, I, I think this is so red, but I think a little bit of green and a little bit of gold will kind of like help make it more Christmassy. And I think I'm gonna lean- Oh God. <clears throat> As I was saying, I think I'm gonna lean towards this black and red one. Yeah, that looks like you. That, that's very like up your alley. Like I said, these don't think we have all these ribbon laying around here. We, we don't. It was literally buy one, get three free. So we just bought two ribbons and got six free. Buy one, get one three. No, wait, no. Buy, buy, buy one, get three free. There we are. So what do we gift gifts? Like what's the reason for that season? So, you know, there's, there's a few different stories about it, but giving gifts around this time of year kind of dates back to like Roman times. So during this the time period of Christmas, which it wasn't Christmas, it was a different holiday. It was called Saturnalia. But during like the time between like December 17th to like the 23rd, it was this large, big, extravagant party season. You know, people stopped working, people just kind of had a joyous time and people gave gifts to each other. Now, there was a lot of thought behind how you gave gifts because if you, like a lot of them were like smaller jokey gifts, because if you gave something too big or too expensive, it came off like you were trying too hard. Okay. So a lot of people gave smaller gifts, just something simple, something funny. Then when Christianity came and took over the Romans, the practice of giving gifts kind of fell into that. 
Because, you know, like with the story of like the three magi. The... See, that's what we have. Yeah. The three wizard witches or what is it? Well, in English, they're called the three magi, like the gold, frankincense and myrrh to baby Jesus. But realistically, the act of giving gifts during the holiday season technically goes back even before Christianity to the Roman times. Okay. So you see how I made a double? I got this double-sided tape that I'm telling you about. And I just put it in one side and tape it to the other one. It's not going to stay there perfect, and it's not intended to. But it helps you kind of not fight the ribbon. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, they do sell ribbon that is like this fancy. Like, you don't have to do this. But, again, buy one, get three free, right? We're going to take advantage of a bargain. It's Black Friday, baby. Like again, this is not gonna stick per like perfectly there. It's just to help you maneuver. Yeah, I mean, but if you mess up and you decide like, hey, I don't wanna you can, continue with this, oh, it's you okay can, because yeah. you have enough ribbon because it was buy one, get three free. It's, I wasn't saying you can pull it off and this tape is not gonna hurt anything. But also, it was buy, get, buy one, get three free. So, again. Do this. Put my box like this. So if you see here, I have this tape already to keep this in place. Mm -hmm. Pull a little tight. Wonderful, look at that. And there you have it. I will say yours is a little harder because you have glitter. I love this pattern, it looks so pretty. No. Now for the next part, I kind of want to need your help. Sure. Because I don't know what you did to a wreath when we were decorating for Christmas, <laughs> but it looked fantastic, the bow. I want a bow like what you made. There. Sure, can you, um, you want it to just be like this? With that mm -hmm. material? Well, can you just make me a... How long do you need? Pretty long. I need to be able to make multiple loops. So if you want to, why don't you make a loop size that you like? I think this loop size is cute. You want that loop size? Okay, well then I need to have like... Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like I need like 10 of those. Okay, I can do that. Or you can put some greenery. See, very pretty. Just kidding, don't do that. Perfect. And that, my friends, is how we wrap some presents. Yeah, I mean, we gave you two different options here. One for if you have a box and one for if you don't have a box. But there's always a third option. Always a third. Okay. Do you want to put a paper towel? That'll be a fourth option. <laughs> <laughs> No. But I like that. Okay, yeah, it is an option. <laughs> I mean, honestly, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You cannot always do all day. I enjoy gift wrapping when I have the time for it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, right now we enjoy your gift wrapping. We have a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. And it's been fun. You know, we talk about different things. You told me the meaning of, uh, you know, the, the... The meaning of Christmas. The meaning of Christmas. <laughs> Um, and, and I really enjoyed it. But if you don't have time, especially when it gets this close, that's the best option, mm -hmm. honestly. But don't they look cute? You know what they say, when in doubt, bag it out. Mm -hmm. But beside the point, I had fun with this. I, I thought I had a really good time with you wrapping our gifts. I know, and I like how we made our own ribbon, you know, out of our same, no, we made our ribbon, and oh, then we yeah. made our bow. Yeah. But, you know, I had fun doing that. That's different. It's a way, it's creative, you know? It's not just your bow, you know? I hate those. Yeah. But, you know, literally this cost, this wrapping paper was $4 because it was buy one, get one free. Mm -hmm. And then 
the bow was like 10 bucks and we got get three free. Buy one, get three free. So, you know, it was a very inexpensive, very easy way to make a little present pretty. Yeah, just in time for Black Friday. So if you're looking for a last minute gift, just reach out. We have our Bridgewater candles, we love them. They are a very nice little gift, very thoughtful. Just send us a message or call us. Yeah, we have them in multiple different sizes for all walks of life. So whether you want something small for a office friend or something really big for yourself, you know, whatever you need, we have for you in stock. This is my favorite one, son. <laughs> Everything is big in Texas. Thank you so much for joining us for a glass of wine and wrapping some gifts. Until next time, stay tuned for more holiday videos. And remember to keep doing things the Long Branch way. way.